I think I read it when it came out, which was, wow, a long time ago. It was probably in the 1970s sometime, wasn't it? Um, I read it when it came out, and I was always curious about it. I thought it had a problem. Ibn Fanlan was conceived as a modern, urban, somewhat bemused, put upon, wisecracking. I liked the idea that the hero was, was an Arab and that he was portrayed as an intelligent, well-educated, highly cultured man, you know, a highly civilized man. I'm very proud of being associated with the only major American action movie in the late talking era to have a, a Muslim hero. It's true that we don't have a Muslim hero, a prayerful Muslim hero, but we also, we also don't have a prayerful Christian hero. We don't have prayerful Jews. We don't have prayerful Hindus. We, this is something that we don't touch. We don't touch faith in movies. And I don't know if you remember the scene in which he prays right on the ground. It's raining, and um, you know these creatures are coming from the mountains. And uh, he prays almost like a final prayer. You know, he I remember that he was saying something like, "For the uh, beautiful things that I could have said and I never said, the beautiful things that I could have done and I never did." Uh, it was something like that. It was like a lethany that he was uh, saying. So he accepted that. And from that moment on, he became a warrior. He just decided to confront whatever comes, just the sword. And he actually ended up being one of them. He ended up being a Viking. It was the first time he saw all of the 13 actors. So it was pretty. And uh, he was happy. I was watching his face because he said, I'm really nervous what these guys are really like. I'm just picking them off of tapes from around the world. And these guys were fantastic, you know. They all were huge. You know, it was, for me, it was like making a movie with Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> these people were enormous. <laughs> but they wanted big actors around Banderas to show the contrast between the Norseman and the Arab. And he had absolutely no problem playing the little guy around big guys, whereas usually if I, you know, deal with Hollywood, Hollywood actors who are kind of not very tall, they're not very comfortable around people, you know, over five feet tall, and it's a little challenging, but Banderas doesn't care. Put your hand down, little brother. I believe they watch us, even now. If we chase, they melt. Will they come to us? The farmers say they come with a mist. We were there together for a month before we started the shoot. Um, we learn archery, you know, uh, fencing, swordsmanship, riding. Nobody could ride. I couldn't. I never rode before. <laughs> if you look at the film, you still can tell I can't ride. And Norwegian. And I actually did a Norwegian character on the X-Files TV show. So I knew enough Norwegian. So I didn't go to Norwegian class. I went to the bar. <laughs>